All right, today we're gonna to be doing a real quick one. We're just gonna be looking over how to rename four switches. It has changed over time. So we'll look at how it was done in 7.2 and below and how it's now done in 7.4 and above. If you're new here, my name is Gregobyte and I talk all things network and security. So in 7.2 and below, uh, things were pretty simple. Uh, let's go over to my port gate. Here you can see I am running 7.2.11 and I've got a new uh, Forti switch 110G sitting in here just using its serial number by default. Now, if I double click into this, I can see that there's a name field here and I can set this. So we'll just click in here and name this GHL SW110G and hit OK. And now we can see that this switch has that name set. So it's gonna be really easy to look at. Now, if we go in here and look at the CLI, we'll see that we have the name set right here and we can change that whenever we want to. All right, so in 7.4 and above, we now have kind of a flip-flop of how we were doing things previously. Uh, in 7.2 and below, we were referencing the object as the serial number, and then we would set a name within that object. Uh, now that meant that even though you would have a human readable name in things like the topology, uh, there were still a lot of things that would require you to know the serial number. In 7.4 and above, they've changed that. So now the switch name is actually the object name, which is gonna make this more uh, usable when you're going and configuring things en masse. Uh, you don't have to remember which serial number lines up to which name. Unfortunately, what that does is it makes it a little bit harder for us to change that around. Uh, it's not really that hard to set. So uh, let's walk through how we do that. Really simply, we've got a config switch controller manage switch just to start talking to the managed switches. And we're just gonna rename the serial number to a new name. And that's it, that's all we have to do. So they got this example here, just to rename this to distribution. And then you'll see now it says, hey, you know, this is called switch one now, but the serial number is set in there as set SN instead of set name, which is what we had previously, which flip-flopped. So let's go do this over in my device that I've got running 7.4.6. I've got, uh, let's go look over here and we've got one of these guys. And before we go into the CLI, you can already see that the name and the serial number are already set to the serial number. So by default, that's what's going to happen. If you just got the set like I do to uh, authorize on demand as it pops in, uh, that will happen to you. So what we're gonna do is gonna open up a CLI We'll go to config switch controller, manage switch. We're going to rename, and we can hit question mark here, and that's going to pop up a list of the current switches. As you can see, I already have half of my switches with an actual usable name, and the other two do not have that. So if I go and just tab to the next, or the first one there, we're going to see it's that. We will have to put the word two in between there, and then you can put whatever name you want in there. So I'll stick with the same naming convention. Gregobyte Switch Lab, Switch 1024, oh, sorry, T1024E-01. Do we wanna make the change? So this does state that it is going to make the switch go offline and online temporarily. Uh, what that is and is not, is it is going to lose management connection to it just simply to reestablish that connection, but the switch itself is not gonna go down. So before I actually click this, let's go and open up that switch. Then I'm gonna just do a repeated ping uh, 1000 times. We're going to set that ping to go. And as I do that, we're just gonna hit yes on this. So I still have access into this switch which is actually done through the console port, so that's not surprising, but we are not dropping any of these packets of pings going across this device. Now, if I do a control C, what I would expect is that the switch name here is going to change from the serial number to the one I just set. So I'll just do a control C, hit enter, and it looks like it's still taking a second to do that. And there we go, just one more enter, and it's now up. All right, so another way that we can do this without having to do any of this after the fact is that if you're going to be adding switches in and you already know their serial number, we can do this 
uh, before they've actually come online or if you've not authorized the switch automatically like I do when it's in an unauthorized state you can make that change so I'm just going to create new port a switch let's go check out the serial number of one of my other four switches that I've got hooked up add that in and right here I can name it already so we'll just do so press w or FF01 and we'll leave it in a deauthorized state. Hit OK. And now we have a four switch here in the unauthorized state. It's offline because it's not actually hooked up right now, but it is sitting there. Uh, and let's go double check if I double click into this, I still can change the name because it's deauthorized. Um, and then if I authorize it now, when we go back in, I should see that it's going to lock me out from making changes. This, I believe, is due to the fact that we are pushing down configurations. Uh, one other way that you could likely do this is to deauthorize this. Hit OK. Click back in, and now you can make changes again. Because we're not syncing that stuff down to the device when it's not in an authorized state, we have the ability to make those changes. Now that's probably unrealistic in a production environment, so I would still go with the rename command. But this is an option if you've you know just started plugging things in, forgot to do it, don't want to go through the CLI. You could just quick deauthorize it, get back in there, change the name, and then reauthorize it again. So that's it. That's the whole thing. Uh, simple change to get that switch renamed over. It really does help, uh, and I do like the change that we can now reference it via the human readable name instead of remembering every serial number uh, when I'm making changes that's a lot easier for me to utilize so while I like it I wish it was maybe a little bit simpler to change over uh, but it's really not that hard so that's a quick and easy way on how to do that